Okay. Okay. So when was the airline was uh, when was the airport was open Ben? When was when was that? Okay, which airline was open? Yeah. Hang on, hang on. Air France and Air. The what's one? The other one. Ah, uh, so especially today about Emirates is open officially when? Also, oh, the Emirates will be coming to Conakry on the 17th of this month, is it? Uh, okay, the commercial, all right. We how many, which one? Another airline, which which airline? The Air France and? Air France is working on today. Okay, what else? What else? Ethiopia. Also, Ethiopia coming this week and Air Morocco is next week. Is that right? Okay, that's very good to hear because I'm live. So, just a moment. Good evening, everyone. This is Walamina Ford. This is my online virtual office. I'm talking to my personal uh, assistant in Conakry and he was the one was telling me that Air uh, Emirates would be officially arriving next week. Air France is already in operation. Air uh, Turkey's opera airline would be coming next week. Ethiopia is already been operation. So I would like to encourage everyone to start now book your trip because the price of gold is a sky's the rocket at the moment. Mm -hmm. So Ben, thank you very much for giving me the information on Conakry. Thank you very much. Yes, but Australia is locked down, but I will monitor the movement of the buyer. Don't worry, but you have to look after the, uh, the customer for, for us, huh? Turn them around and show, you show your hospitality coming from Mineral Consulting Group of Company. Okay? Alright, Ben. Thank you very much, Ben. Good evening, everyone. I was talking to my personal assistant. He is my assistant when I'm in the office. Okay. <clears throat> I think you hear about uh, the airline is a commercial flight. It's already in operation in Conakry. Mali uh, Air France is already start to operate uh, last week. Sierra Leone, I would I would ask my my seller if the if Sierra Leone is an operation right now. But anyway, good evening everyone. Greeting from Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. I don't know what time in your end. Maybe in United States it's early morning. Dubai is a midday, and in France maybe it's seven, eight o'clock in the morning so i would like to greet everybody i hope you are well okay you protect yourself from the coronavirus the coronavirus is really very cruel to us there is no border whether you are black or white whether you're christian or no no religion there is no boundary this disease now in melbourne is lockdown they're locked down because the coronavirus is really rampant. In Sydney, the coronavirus is also very high. Thank God in, in Brisbane, we are okay. Thank God. But on South Side, there was uh, three ladies from Melbourne. They attended the party and they got the coronavirus. But immediately, the family was being quarantined. And I was even quarantined when I arrived from my trip last March. I quarantined myself one month, and then after that, I tested myself on the coronavirus. I'm negative. So thank God I'm alive. So if I'm alive, you will see Wilhelmina live. This is my office. 
Now, I would like to thank everybody. I thank Lindsay from Florida, Miss, uh, Miss Postar from United States, Dean Paul from India, Raja from India, Miss Tree from India as well, Peter Franco from Philippines, and Odi Odi from India. Thank you for dropping by on my virtual page. This is my office. You will see Wilhelmina after I interview the buyer privately. Now, thank you very much for watching me and thank you for founding Wilhelmina from YouTube and Facebook. I know that you've been searching for gold for many months, many years. I know you've been window shopping, comparing from seller to seller, talking from different broker. At the end of the day, you still landed to Wilhelmina. Why? Wilhelmina is the only person who show her face. We are real. We are transparent. My seller in Conakry, my seller in Mali, and in Sierra Leone. Used to be I handle Ghana. A lady that I was talking to her this morning, she wanted to come to Ghana and in Cameroon. And I told her that uh, I'm not handling Ghana anymore and even in Cameroon because I um, I terminated all of my agreement with the seller. Why? In Ghana, Ghana is a nice country, but the seller is not telling you transparency. The seller will offer you cheap price, whether you're going to buy in Burkina Faso, whether you're going to buy in Sierra Leone, or whether you're going to buy in, in Mali or in Conakry, anywhere in Africa. If someone offer you very cheap, Mr. Buyer, I want you to think about it. Now, the price of gold today is 63500 on the market, on the world market. And someone offer you very cheap, think about it. That price that seller is going to tease you, teasing you in order for you to travel. But when you arrive on that particular country, it's not the price that you were given prior to your arrival. So they are going to tease you in order for you to ignite because you're hungry to buy. And the seller is hungry to sell. Everybody is hungry. Everybody. Seller is hungry to sell. Buyer is hungry to buy. And Wilhelmina is hungry to service you as well. So everybody is hungry. But being unhung hungry, I have to guide you step by step so that when you arrive on that particular country, you will not be trapped into disaster. Now, Mr. Baya, I know you have been floating around. I know. I can sense that. I can see it because um, I have so many visitors on my virtual page. Today, my visitors on my main page is 2,500 visitors. It's okay. They can read and watch the video. You will come back when you're ready. I have my video on YouTube. When you search gold, my video pop up into your screen. When you search diamond, my video pop up into your screen. Either you go to uh, yeah, YouTube to search or on Facebook. My face is everywhere. So Mr. Bayer Wilhelmina is here for you. Wilhelmina is guiding you step by step. I don't want to lose your money. I don't want it. Because I have a bad experience in the past. I'm sharing you my bad experience so that when you travel, if you don't want to deal with Wilhelmina, if you don't want to deal with us, it's okay. At least you read the full corporate offer, the full corporate offer exactly the same. Whether you're going to Ghana, whether you're going to Burkina Faso, whether you're going to Cameroon, whether you're going to Togo, whether you're going to Sierra Leone, whether you go to um, Zimbabwe, whether you go to South Africa or Congo or Nairobi, exactly the same. Why exactly the same? When you buy the gold, Mr. Baya, you have to assay the gold. Yeah? So you have to assay and see the, the purity and the carrots. But there are sellers that involve in illegal activities. Mm -hmm. And there are so many foreigners has been trapped. So many. With my own two eyes. I saw it with my own two eyes. 
So that is the reason why I'm here to tell the world that this business is very, very complicated, very tricky and very dangerous. Very dangerous if you don't have the cash. Very complicated if you're asking for CIF. This is not for you. If you're asking for CIF means you're going to launder, you're going to leverage. CIF means cost insurance and freight only. So therefore you don't have the cash. You're asking for CIF to bring that to your destination. You don't have the cash. Gold is money. Gold is king. He who has the gold makes the rules. The government is the one who makes the rule, not me. The government who makes the rule, not you. You are going to follow the golden rules of the country where the gold and diamond coming from. So not my golden rules. I am sharing you the vital information. Information worth a million dollars. You are lucky to meet me. This is my online virtual office. You are lucky. If you watch this video and read the full corporate offer, you are a winner. If you don't read and don't co uh, comprehend, you're a loser. Now, there are so many online broker collecting information, collecting data coming from my page. It's okay. At least you read, at least you learn. But when you come to my page and when you come to my WhatsApp or Skype or Messenger, be professional. Introduce yourself. Hi, Wilhelmina. I watch your video. I watch your Facebook. And I do understand that gold is not for credit. Wilhelmina, I am the buyer. Please assist me. I've been searching for gold for many months. This is how you're going to introduce. Do not say hi. A minute you're going to say hi to me, you're just a time waster. You're a joker. Because my name is not hi. My name is Wilhelmina Ford. You need to be professional if you're a buyer. You introduce yourself because I wouldn't believe that you are a buyer if you don't introduce yourself properly. I wouldn't believe it. Whether you are a thief, whether you are a criminal, or whether you are involved in illegal activities. Because a person doesn't know how to introduce himself or herself. To me, you are just a joker. This is not for you. If you think you can get commission floating around collecting data coming from my page then you made a mistake because this is not for you yeah there are so many buyers watching me so many buyers so many i can see that buyer knows how to find supply this time because we are now on the social media social media is the fastest growing industry why amazon selling their products online why alibaba selling their products online why we are now on the internet super highway mr buyer you we are so if you are really searching for supply think about it am i really serious buyer am i able to pay the price because the gold today is 63,500. now i'm going to Go to the world market. Just a moment. I'm going to, to go on gold price. Because the gold price, it fluctuates every day. Just a moment. Okay. The, at the moment, the price of gold is 16. No, 1968.77. All right. So, down a little bit. A while ago, yesterday and this morning, was... Uh, 63,500. Now, maybe you're going to confuse. Well, I mean, what is 1968.66? That is per, that is per owns. You multiply that to 32.15 equals, okay, 63,288.91 on the world market. Now, the stock exchange start to open today. Now, there, the movement of the the price of gold on the stock exchange is 1968.95. Then an increase and then down, increase and down, and increase and down. So there is a prediction that the gold end of 2020 might turn to 2,400. Now, if 2,400, 2,400 times 32.15 
It could be 77,160. It could be. Why? How, how do I know? Every day I watch the movement of gold and diamond because I need to share it with you. Those lazy to go to the world market because I'm, the, I'm a woman who love current events. Current event is very, very important to our business, especially me, because I'm the seller's mandate. I'm the one who handle sales and marketing. I am not an agency. This is my extension office. Seller hired Wilhelmina to market it to the global, global domain, because the seller is busy uh, doing some works in the village and there is no network. So they hired Wilhelmina well, I mean, this is our stuff. Well, I mean, this is our production. Mm -hmm. So I'm the one who put everything. Mali. We have 2.5 tons in Mali. Mali is the third largest gold producer in West Africa. Conakry, Guinea is the land of plenty. There are so many foreigners in Africa. Australian mining company, Russian mining company, Chinese mining company, German mining company, Italian mining company from Dubai, from Middle East, they are in the position in Africa to get the wealth because Africa is rich on natural resources. But if you don't have the money, I can assure you, I can guarantee you, you will not get the precious item because this is cash. Gold is king. Gold is money. You are buying money to make money. Now, you are buying unrefined. Don't be confused yourself. So, you will mean, uh, I'm buying 99.99. No, 99.99 is already refined. From the dust gold, they refined it into bars. From Dory Bar, they put that on the market. Then you as a trader, you buy, then you resell it to the jewelry manufacturer, then you sell it to, to the refinery, then refinery will refine it, and he has a customer, which is the bank. Mm -hmm. So I think I already explained it to you. So don't confuse between 24 carats and 22.54 carats, which is 23. Don't be confused. You're buying unrefined. Yeah, so I hope you follow through with my explanation. This is my store. You are window shopping online, and I am here answering your question because I have a <coughs> buyer that I had interviewed. I said one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight buyers who, who come to my virtual page. So I interview the buyer, these eight people. Out of eight people, only one is qualified yeah out of eight people <clears throat> so these eight people they are window shopper since last year mostly are indian mm -hmm. this indian their comprehension is very less they don't read and then they window shop in the shop talking to a different offer and then they come back to me this indian one two three four five six indians and two Americans. Mm -hmm. Now, this American, they're very thorough, like uh, this guy from Florida. He was learning from me. His brother lived in Sydney. Mm -hmm. And I was, I was talking to him this morning, a very long conversation. And you know what he said, this guy from Florida? Well, Amina, you are the only person who put everything. I admire you. And I believe that you are really transparent, and I do believe that your seller is real. And I told him, well, you don't need to believe it because you have not do the transaction with us. But he learned from me. He went to Ghana. When he went to Ghana, first time he was being cheated. Yeah, he was being scammed. Now he keep on asking me if I know this gentleman who offer him very cheap. And I told him, I don't know that guy. Actually, I don't advise you guys. I don't. I don't advise anybody. If you come to my page, you listen it, digest it properly, relax. Don't rush. Sit down and 
sit back on your chair or drink coffee on your office listen to this video after you watch this video click below subscribe on facebook and subscribe on youtube because this video would be uploaded to youtube mm -hmm. so i hope you understand me said mr Bayer. gold is not for you if you're asking for cif if you're asking for lc this is not for you why define me the word lc mr Bayer. letter of credit meaning to say you're asking for credit you don't have cash available. You have a solid asset. You have. You have a, a banking facilities. Then you go to the bank. You will apply for the letter of credit. But gold is cash. Why are we going to give you for credit? Gold is cash. Come with the invitation. Ask the gold. Inspect the gold in the office. You like it. You ask the gold to the refinery. Then when you get the asset report, you pay the down payment while waiting to process the paper. So you make a down payment, a partial down payment. This is not upfront. Remove your mentality upfront because there is no upfront. You like the gold, you have to have a commitment to proceed. Remember, you meet Wilhelmina, you come to Wilhelmina, this is my office. I am answering all the questions with this gentleman. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people. I interviewed this morning and this afternoon. Only one person qualified out of eight. Yeah? And I, I explained it to them and they wasted my time. I'm very patient because I want you to learn and I don't want you to be duped again. Can you imagine eight people that I interview? Only one is real buyer, yeah? She, she's a woman. Mm -hmm. And she, we were negotiating the price. Then I called my head office today because we have a time difference in Conakry. I put, he, I put her in Conakry. So another buyer, I'm going to put the buyer in Mali. Because I have to distribute the buyer. Conakry, Mali, and Sierra Leone. Come to Conakry because I just have my transaction in Conakry and in Sierra Leone and in Mali. Yeah. Three of my sellers are the best. They have the gold. As long as you have the money. Mm -hmm. You will never get gold if you don't have cash. Now going back to LC and escrow and, and standard letter of credit. I want you to define, Mr. Bayer. I want you to define the meaning of LC, go online. What is the meaning of letter of credit? I want you to define what is the meaning of standard letter of credit. You read it, digest it, then you will know why you cannot get the gold in Africa. African seller would not give his gold credit. This is cash. Gold is king. Gold is cash versus your paper money. So I think I already explained it to you, Mr. Bayer. Now I have a challenge for you, Mr. Bayer. I will challenge you. Remember on my video, every video it says our selling price, 5%. Less 5% on the world market. Now I'm going to the world market. I will educate you just like an elementary. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the price of gold today is 63,263.35. I will get my calculator and pen. Watch very carefully. Okay, this is for you even though you're a broker or buyer's mandate. Now, the price today in the world market 63,263.35. Our selling price is less 5%. All right. 63 to 63 .35. Less 5%. Then back to 63 to 63.35. Oh, hang on my calculator. 63,026. 63 to 63.35. Less 5%. 
Then minus 63 again to 63.35. Uh, oh, my calculator is not working properly. I think the battery. 63 to 63.35. Less 5%. Minus again 63 to 63.35. Our selling price is 60,000. So you're gonna say, oh, too expensive, Wilhelmina. It is very expensive. Don't panic. I'm with you here. So this is the price on 5%. I'm sure you wouldn't be able to afford. Okay? Because you need the profit. Even to 5%, when you refine it, you still sell it to, to the refinery less two percent So you have 3%. But I will give you a very good deal. Now, because I'm going to travel with you, I do charge my extra service. You need this lady in front of you. You need it. So I'm going to charge my extra service. Then I will give you extra 3%. Uh -huh. I am charging you my trip. To accompany you to cover my airlines my travel insurance my hotel accommodation food and spending money just to accompany you at the end of the day you owe me a favor so instead of five percent I will give you eight percent okay now sixty three thousand two six three point thirty five I'll give I will give you extra three percent in total of eight percent mm -hmm. So then I'll go back to 63, 263.35. This is the price, 58,000 on 8%, 58,167. So don't panic. Uh -huh. So you said, Wilhelmina, I want to get the profit. You're going to already get the profit. Your profit, if you're going to resell it because you're a trader, if you're going to resell it to the refinery of your destination, the refinery will buy from you 2% whatever the price tomorrow. If the price will turn to 77 or 65, 64, you get the profit. Yes? But you are not thinking about the long term. Now, so this is 8%. Now, our minimum order is 10 kilos. 10 to 20 kilos. However, well, Amina is a very kind and generous. I am a gatekeeper. I have the power to negotiate on your behalf. I have the power. And I have the power to reject you as well. Yes, I have. Because the seller will believe you because Well, Amina be with you on the ground. So the seller will say, okay, you brought Well, Amina, the buyer, and you already screened the buyer. The buyer show the proof of fund. The buyer show his business registration. The buyer show her importation license. The buyer show her or his passport copy and the proof of fund, the value of your order. The proof of fund means your bank statement that you have really available fund. Now, this is on eight kilos, right? So times, because we have a minimum order, Let's say you can afford 5 kilo to start with. But don't complain. There is no profit match. Mm -hmm. So, times uh, 10 kilos. This is the money that you are going to show to us. 581.67. Mm -hmm. On 10 kilos. So, already half a million. Do you have a half a million, Mr. Baya? Do you? So if you don't have a, have a million, don't waste our time. Don't. We don't sell one kilos. We don't send the gold to you without knowing who you are. Now, because I'm very kind and generous, because you need to convince Walamina, you need it. So that I would know whether you are capable to pay half a million dollars. Then I can ask my seller, I can pressure my seller, okay, let's say, Let's give the buyer 10% because I'm going to bring you to my head office. Mr. Seller, why not um, we can give the buyer 10%? Okay. Don't bank on it. Huh? I'm just giving you an example. Don't bank on it. 
Okay, the price is 63 as today. 63 to 6, okay, 63 to 63.35 times 10%. Mm -hmm. Then your profit is uh, 6,326 per kilos already. So you are a winner. So minus 63 to 63.35. This could be the price. Remember? A while ago, I'm giving you 58 so review this video okay so this is 10 uh, percent now you're gonna say well amina can you ask your seller have 11 percent okay uh, i'll try mm -hmm. 60 000, 63 to 63.35 times 11 percent this is a long term I will not give you 11% on 5 kilos. Make sure you convince Walamina. Minus uh, 63 to 63.35. This is the price on 11%. Mm -hmm. 56,304. Now, Mr. Baya, this price is tax inclusive. You will not pay taxes. You will not pay the shipping cost and insurance. How? Okay. I have discussed this already with my seller. I asked my seller, okay, let us give the buyer a trial. We will waive the tax. Mm -hmm. The tax is 7%, right? 7%. You already gain because you don't need to pay taxes. Meaning to say, when you buy the item plus valued added tax, here in Australia, our tax is 10%. We don't have any complaint. I buy uh, anything, groceries, um, food, or pay my phone bills, electricity, always have government sales tax. So I don't have any complaint. And you are complaining. So to me, you are sending me a red flag. So we remove the 7%. You're lucky to have this lady in front of you. Okay. We remove the 7%. This is the price. Mm -hmm. 56000 And you don't have to pay the shipping cost and insurance. But you have to pay $100 per kilo when the gold to be added to the local refinery. You have to. We're giving you too much. We don't have any profit margin. Why? The seller has an overhead. The seller has to pay his worker. The seller has to pay his elect electricity. The seller has to buy petrol. So fair is fair. Yeah? I am giving you elementary explanation. No such person explaining to you like this. None whatsoever. Even broker. Even the buyer's agent. They only think about commission. I am thinking about you, Mr. Buyer. I am thinking you on how you get the supply from us. I am thinking about you because we want to build a long business relationship. You don't need to roam around anymore after second trial. First trial, yes, it is a very, very crucial. Yes. Mm -hmm. But second shipment, you now feel comfortable. You are building your credibility to my seller we don't know you and you don't know the seller so we need to make sure that you are really serious buyer we need to make sure that you are not a hold up we make sure that you are not a criminal because there are so many criminal people using this gold to launder it like a money laundering they launder the gold so we need to be Crucial, we need to know your background. That is the reason why Wilhelmina is asking you thorough question. And if you don't give me the answer, then you will be rejected. 100% you will be rejected. And if you're going to be rejected, don't be angry. Then, oh, Wilhelmina is come, is come. I don't think so, I'm a scammer. Because if I scam you, I should not give you this information. I want you, Mr. Bayer, to define me. The world is come. Define it. 
So think about it. There are so many people hate my guts. You must remember. I was being blogged. I was being blogged by notorious buzzer online. I really don't care. Because I don't need to make friends with anybody. I need to service the real buyer. I don't need to service the, the thugs. I don't need to service the broker. I don't need brokers at all. I don't need it. We need the real buyer to buy the supply because the real buyer is hungry to secure the supply. His business would not function if there is no supply. What is the cause of buyers and seller fail? Because of greedy brokers. Because the greediness of both parties. Mr. Buyer, you are a winner meeting this beautiful lady. The beautiful lady in front of you is giving you a very thorough guidance. i giving you the answer. I was um, talking to Lindsay from Florida. Mm -hmm. Lindsay was saying to me, Wilhelmina, I admire your guts. And you are the only person who has the courage to tell the world, even though you were being bashed. Yes, I was being bashed. Yeah. There are so many trolls online. Trolls mean they're joker. They're thieves. They are online collecting information, thinking, oh, I have a buyer. How much is my commission? Sign in, C in the A. By uh, how much is my commission? No. We will give the buyer instead the discount. Mr. Buyer, you don't need the broker, really. You don't need it. You need Wilhelmina. Really. 100% you need Wilhelmina. You don't need any broker. You don't. Yeah? Because a broker doesn't know what he's doing. The broker learned from my page. The broker learned from my video. It's okay. If you learn out of my video, you're a winner. If you don't learn, well, you're a loser. Mr. Buyer, do you think that you understand what I'm saying? I would like you to make an evaluation after I'm going to have a break time. You know, I'm going to drink coffee for a while. Uh -huh. I think, Mr. Buyer, I've already explained to you thoroughly. Now, I I'm going to give you a challenge, Mr. Buyer, how I'm going to give you a challenge. Remember? The selling price is five kilo, uh, five percent. When I travel with you, it's a challenge. I am charging my extra service. That is a challenge. Instead of paying me my extra service, I give you three percent incentive. So at the end of the day, Mr. Buyer, you owe me a favor. You don't. I don't owe you a favor at all. You owe me a favor. Why? I come with you. And I give I give you a guidance and I will negotiate on your behalf. You owe me a favor. Why you owe me a favor? I want you to be happy with my services. Because at the end of the day, you will come back. Well, Amina, thank you very much for your services. That is a challenge. Uh -huh. Now, Mr. Bayer, does anybody explain to you like that? Nah. Nobody explain to you like this. Broker is, he doesn't care for you. Brokers only think about commission, commission, commission. No, Mr. Buyer. I am here to position, to position, to position your needs. I am positioning your needs because you're a businessman. You're a businessman. You need the supply. You're hungry at the moment. We will feed you of your hunger because gold is king. Gold is money. Without gold, the economy will be disaster. Inflation versus deflation. When it comes to crisis, everybody buy gold for safe haven. Because paper money has no value. Why there is inflation deflation? Because there is no value the paper. The central bank cannot print the, gold, the money without the gold reserve. So gold is very, very very important to the world economy. Gold has many uses, Mr. Buyer. Either you're going to make into jewelry. Either you're going to make into faucet. Either you're going to make into 
SIM card. There is gold. Mm -hmm. Either you're going to make into watch. This is my watch made of gold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Either you're going to refine it into 99.99. .99. So gold does mean the uses. Now, Mr. Baya, this woman is really very, very thorough to explain to you. Now, after this video, I want you to take time, click the link. Take time, don't rush, because you're buying half a million here. You're buying. So I want you to digest it, or listen to the, this video explanation, and then when you are ready, then you send me a letter of intent to purchase coming from you, Mr. Bayer. There, Wilhelmina, I watch your video. Wilhelmina, I read the full corporate offer. I would like to secure gold to start a trial, Wilhelmina. Please help me. That's exactly the lady this morning. She sent me a very nice letter. She is really professional. Wilhelmina, I'm from United States. I've been searching for gold. I've been talking to different people. Out of six people, you are the only person who explain and you are the only person who show your face. That is a compliment. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So I have a con long conversation. I've given her a very good deal. Yes? Instead of 58, I've given her a good deal. So I'm waiting for her letter of intent. I called my head office in Conakry, Mineral Consulting Group of Company. If that lady would be granted to get, to get her price, yeah? I called the father and the son. They will call me because they were praying. You know, they are Muslim. They are praying five times a day. And it's already, it's a Ramadan at the moment. So, when I call them, they will pick up the phone. Because I'm special to them. I am their gatekeeper. And also, I am your gatekeeper. I'm going to open the gate for you to enter. You got my logic, Mr. Baya? Now, Mr. Baya, you are a winner. Yeah, so those exp that explanation that I have today in front of you, don't bank on it because I'm only giving you a preempt. But you need to convince Wilhelmina because I am going to submit your letter of intent to the head office. I am. We have plenty of gold, Mr. Bayer or Miss Bayer. We have plenty. But the seller would not release his gold. He will keep it waiting for the price skyrocket there would be a price increase end of this year i was just watching the live conference that the prediction of price of gold would be 2400 now on 2400 per ounce 2400 times 32.15 this could be the price, 77160 I can guarantee you, Mr. Baya, you wouldn't be able to afford it. Mm -hmm. I'm warning you right now. Bank now. Start now. Buy now while you can still afford. Remember last year, 2019. <coughs> Excuse me. I warn everybody. <coughs> 2020, the price would increase to 50 mm -hmm. 2020 entering 2020 the price goes up to 50 then january february march april may june july 50 then 53 54 55 56 right 57 58 today what month are we we are in on August 4, 63,000 plus. But nobody believed me. Yeah? Instead, they buzz me. Instead, they say, oh, well, I mean, I'm a scammer. Those persons who accuse me, they are a scammer. 
because they lie themselves. They are joker buyer and joker broker. Yes? They blog me, go for it. I wish them good luck. Because the more you blog me, the more I'm telling the truth that I am lied, people wouldn't believe those scammers person who accused me. No? Because that person, he hide her face. He hide his face. Like Wicca Drea. She attacked me uh, May 23rd. Mm -hmm. And she said that she is a seller in Conakry. And she accused me. She attacked me on my page. She doesn't know me. Uh -huh. Wicca Drea. Uh -huh. I think I have this lady. Uh -huh. This lady. Yeah. She attacked me. She doesn't even know me. Uh -huh. Because she was been such and she steal my picture from my page. And she steal my picture and she put all the nasty messages that well I mean is come is come. The lady holding the gold, the this lady she steal my picture. So we are even. So I went to her profile and she doesn't have any address. Only her picture. She's an African lady live in Johannesburg. I went to her LinkedIn profile. She doesn't have any address. She doesn't have any contact. So what's the point of uh, uh, putting your pictures on LinkedIn if you don't introduce yourself? What's the point of creating Facebook profile if you don't put your contact? What are you selling? So this lady is a crook. Uh -huh. So she said, well, Amina, I will make you famous. No, I'm going to make her famous. Yeah, You can go to her Facebook. Yeah, so we are just even. So please, if you don't like my guts, get out. This is not for you. This lady is a broker. She said she's a seller. She doesn't have an office. She's from South Africa. Yeah. So that is the kind of people that hate my guts. Why are you going to hate my guts? I'm telling the truth. I'm guiding the buyer. I am not guiding this lady because she doesn't have the money. She's a broker. She's going to deceive you. She's going to lie to you. Yeah. I don't lie to you. I am going to bring you to my head office. I am the extension office. I have the government authority, the seller, have an agreement with Wilhelmina Memorandum of Understanding Confidential. I'm not going to share it with you because it's confidential. Do you understand what is the meaning confidential? Mm -hmm. That is my employment. They employ me to handle sales and marketing. Yes. So those broker, joker, broker have no idea. Mm -hmm. Now, Mr. Buyer, you're a winner talking to this lady. You are. I can guarantee you, you will not fail. You will fail if you cut corner. You will fail if you're going to screw me. You will fail. Yeah? You will fail if once you are on the ground and then you don't want to talk to Wilhelmina and you want to exclude me, yes, I can guarantee you will fail. Yes, because I have the power to stop it. Because I'm going to tell the seller, this buyer have an agenda. Yeah. So there is buyer that who screwed me. I'm not going to mention his name because I don't want him to be embarrassed. Yeah, they are Vietnamese Australian. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's okay. So if I'll take you to the ground, Mr. Buyer, you're paying my extra service. God, uh, ask me, Wilhelmina, I want you to be the first and to the end of the transaction. Because I am protecting you. Don't be excited, Mr. Buyer. Don't. Wilhelmina mm -hmm. send me, okay. I have the lady from Philippines. She doesn't even understand. My full corporate offer is online. She said, hi, Mina, can you send me full corporate offer, please, by email? My guest, Emilda, if you're watching me, our full corporate offer is online. Uh -huh. You just cut and paste. If you have a buyer, show it to your buyer. Uh -huh. Because I'm not going to keep on sending and sending and sending, and then there would be no result. The full corporate offer is already online very extensively. Uh -huh. So I will not... Sending FCO. I will refrain. Instead, I'm telling the world we have the supply. The full corporate offer means the gold in West Africa is 
the 22.54, which is 23 carats, that is an offer to sell it to you. The purity is from 95, 96, 97, that is an offer to sell it to you. The origin, Conakry, Mali, Sierra Leone, that is an offer to sell it to you. The mode of payment is bank to bank FOB. That is the seller terms and condition. Uh -huh. So, Mr. Buyer, you're gonna you're gonna ask, no, well, I mean, I'm not going to pay upfront. There is no upfront. Now, remove that mentality upfront. There's none. Your order will be reserved, subject for your arrival. After you send a letter of intent, we will respond to you in a professional way. Letter of acknowledgement. There, Mr. So-and-so, thank you for inquiring gold to buy through our mandate base in Australia. So the letter of, of confirmation coming from the head office, I will be the one to determine which seller I'm going to put you. I am the one. Either I'm going to put you Sierra Leone, I'm, either I'm going to put you in Conakry or in Mali. After my satisfaction screening you, after my validation, because I have to call you. When I receive your letter of intent, I will call you. Your letter of intent is nothing. That is only to, to um, tell us that you are intending to buy. That is LOI. That is not a contract. You are intending to buy. You are introducing yourself, who you are, what company, where is your location, how many quantity. You're going to state that after you read the full corporate offer in front of you after you watch this video. Yeah? So then, Wilhelmina said, okay, I will put you to Conakry or Mali. Then, I will require your business registration. I will require you to produce your importation license. I will require your passport copy. I will require you proof of fund bank statement. Why? Will be attached on the contract. We will send you the contract, SPA. We don't send SPA blank. That is solicitation. I don't enter it in cut and paste. I wouldn't. I will throw your letter of intent cut and paste to Willie Bean, because I need to know where the letter of intent coming from, because I need to evaluate you. I need to check your background. You check my background, it's okay. If you saw Willie Bean that I'm on the scam page, good luck. You will not get the gold if you believe on those uh, website that oh, Willie Bean is coming. I don't know how much I scam you. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. So those... Uh, uh, people who hate my gut, like William Stevenson, like Bernard Melbourne, they hate my guts. Like Alwan Sanwar Kanwar, he's come my seller in Ghana. So they hate my guts, I'm telling you right now. Mm -hmm. So that you will be aware. So Wilhelmina is not hiding. She's not. What am I going to hide for? What am I going to get out of that? Yeah. Mr. Bayer, remember the parable in life? If you're a Christian, think about it. Jesus Christ had 12 disciples, you must remember. Judas, Thomas, Peter, John, Luke. 12 disciples, huh? Who betrayed Jesus Christ? Judas. Judas sold Jesus Christ of 17 sterling to his enemy. So he fabricated, he lied that Jesus Christ is not the Son of God. He's not the Messiah. Messiah. So Judas sold Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ was persecuted because of greediness of Judas. I will put that into practical life. You are the Judas. You are his scammer. Yeah? You are. If you are watching me, the meaning of his coming so lie, deceive, manipulate. Judas, he deceived his master. Yeah? He betrayed his master. Mm -hmm. And Thomas didn't believe Jesus Christ was resurrected after he was been persecuted by King Pontius Pilate. And Jesus Christ appeared to Thomas. Thomas, Thomas, blessed are those who have not seen me but they believe me. 
Thomas asked for forgiveness. And Peter, doubtful, today you are a scammer, you are doubtful. And then you bust Wilhelmina, well, thank Lord. I, God is with me and guardian angel is with me. I was being scum big time. But I move on. Because there's a saying, what the people done to you, you will get the reward. I am very kind and generous, remember? I've given you a very good discount. Huh? So that is my kindness because I want to help you. There are so many gold and diamond in Africa. How are you able to get it properly from me yeah last night i received a message from mr sider mr sider said madam <clears throat> i read an article a basketball player from the united states but he is originally from congo just a moment this is the the message that he he, sh he share with me okay okay and it's very very interesting if you search that on on link on on the articles just a moment so that you're gonna be aware now mm -hmm. the basketball player his name is Mutumbos Mutumbos 10 million dollars gold coming from Congo Congo is a UN embargo okay this is the okay Okay, I'm going to show it to you. Okay, I'm going to put after this on my video, my page, the link so that you can read. And you have to learn. You have to know what you're buying. All right. This is, I think you, you cannot see it. Now, Mr. Mutombo's rule in 10 million gold is come only coming from the light. He, he is NBA player. Mm -hmm. The Kimbi Motobo has um, made a worldwide name for himself. He's sponsoring humanitarian. He's originally from Congo. He was offered very cheap. Yeah, the buyer trust him because he has a name. Mm -hmm. But I don't have a name. Mm -hmm. But I know the business. I know the business, the tricks in and out. And the the person who has money to finance this um how many four tons of gold coming from congo mm -hmm. the gold didn't arrive the money was put in the bank and when the the gold was loaded into the private plane they were being intercepted by the military congo is notorious congo is a un embargo yeah most of the gold in congo are illegally confiscated by the military and they wanted to sell it to the world and they're gonna buy some they use it to buy some guns whatsoever so this is it i will put this on this page so that you guys when you read it you will see this uh big time is come and also i think six months ago the royal family in dubai was also scam in Nairobi, the gold coming from Congo. I am sharing you, Mr. Buyer, so that you will be aware that this gold business is a very dangerous business. There are so many criminals, there are so many smugglers involved in this gold business. So many. I don't want you to be involved. And my seller is not a smuggler. It's not. So I'm going to put everything on this video. Mali. Conakry, Sierra Leone, I want you to click the link. Take time. Which one you like to travel? Oh, well, I mean, uh, I want to go to Mali. Yeah, okay. Send me the letter of intent to purchase. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. I think I've already given you, Mr. Bayer, a very, very vital information. Now, I am educating you properly, Mr. Bayer. Gold is a very valuable item. I am saving you money so that you will not be duped. Gold is a very spiritual item, very spiritual, very um, meaningful. God give the world, uh, God shower precious item like uh, 
gold and diamond. Yeah? So gold is in the spiritual. And gold has a value in return with favor. I hope you understand, Mr. Buyer. You are buying the world asset. You are buying insurance for your life. And my services is very, very important to your business. Very. And um, gold is the basement of paper money. Uh -huh. It is. So gold versus paper money. Gold is the solid cash. Paper money has no value if there is no gold reserve. From the central bank. The central bank cannot print money and print, 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 print has no value. So they're going to use gold as the backup, as a reserve. That's why they buy gold in Africa, 98% in Africa, gold coming from Africa, 50% of diamond coming from Africa. So they buy the raw materials and refine it. Chinese are everywhere in Africa. Chinese are very clever. They wouldn't talk too much. Yeah, they wouldn't. I stayed at, uh, where is the hotel that I stayed in? My first trip I stayed in, okay, I have a, here. Uh, my, my nine, uh, 2019, I stayed at the uh, Hotel Grand Ami, owned by Chinese. A young couple doesn't speak English. Yeah? And we hired local people, low wages. Mm hmm and they own the hotel. Most Chinese, they come to Conakry. They wouldn't stay in the city. They hired a big bus parked on the front hotel. They go to the mines 10 hours drive, Shigeri. And the Chinese couple doesn't speak English. They're young. I think they were only early 30s. They own the hotel. It's only front act. Maybe they have a financer in China. They are there to mine bauxite. They are there to mine gold. They are there to mine diamond. Chinese are everywhere in Africa. They would not talk too much. They will look at you. They are very sharp. Mm -hmm. But because I'm very friendly and very inquisitive, I ask questions. And I'm very, very friendly. So I got information. I am sharing you. And then when I went to Conakry again and Sierra Leone this year, the owner of Royal Column Hotel, owned by Chinese. Yeah? They are there. They are investing because they believe that Africa is a rich on natural resources. China has no resources. Yeah? They are there positioning their asset. Chinese are very shrewd, you must remember. Mm -hmm. Australian Mining Company is in Ghana. Australian Mining Company is in Conakry. Australian Mining Company is in in Mali. Australian Mining Company is in Sierra Leone. They are mining gold. That big, big company owned by um, uh, Rio Tinto. Mm -hmm. So I'm sharing you so that you as a small trader, you will understand why should I buy gold? I have the money but no value. I'm going to buy gold. I'm going to ask Wilhelmina, but we don't sell one kilo. We don't sell two kilos. It's not worth it. There is a minimum. This is export. This is not for credit. Huh? So, you can win the shop anytime you want. Group to group, it's okay. You have the opportunity to win the shop. You will be offered 29. Go for it. You will be scum. Okay? And there's a lot of metal precious item in Africa, but the seller would not sell his gold. Even though he has plenty. And uh, the, um, the seller would laugh at you if you ask question, If you ask for the CIF. Yeah. Gold is a spiritual item. You must remember. Africa is the main source of natural resources. Bauxite. Uh, iron. Gas. Coffee. Cocoa. Bauxite. Diamond. And so forth. Right. Gold is um, the highest form of materials. Right. Gold is the, the uh, gold and diamond is a form of investment. You invest, you refine it, and you resell it, you get the profit. That is the investment. 
Yeah. So I hope, Mr. Bayo, I explained to you thoroughly. Yeah. So after this video, I will put Conakry, Sierra Leone, and Mali. Take time to read. Take time to listen on every video. There's a saying, a picture paints a thousand words. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying, Mr. Baya? So don't be, don't be scared with Wilhelmina. I am here to guide you. I am here working for you at the same time and the seller. So I work both parties, the seller and the buyer. I am guiding you. Your broker would not guide you. He will think how much is my commission. He, that broker doesn't even know whether the buyer is real or not. Mm -hmm. And this buyer as well using this broker to float around. That buyer is lazy. Mm. This afternoon, the buyer from India, he wanted the gold to send it to India as a sample. I told him there is no sample in gold. You are buying money. We will not give you money as a sample. India is a gold lover because they make it into jewelry. They are the biggest consumption of gold, but they are very shrewd as well. Mm -hmm. Mr. Bayer, I'm going to share with you the experience of both buyers and sellers mm -hmm. before I'm going to close. Six months ago, according to Mr. Saida, there was a representative from Burkina Faso and they sent the gold together with the, the representative to Pakistan, he was being murdered. Mm -hmm. And also, my seller, my seller David Anin from Ghana, he screwed me. Yeah. Oro Mining Company, he went to Russia, 100 kilos, he was missing. Mm -hmm. 2019, my seller in Conakry, he believed on buyer 450 kilos in Paris. The money didn't go through in the bank. So my seller had office. He hired a lawyer to sue the buyer and he couldn't find the buyer. And the son they didn't come home. My the, the father said do not come home unless 23 million is in the bank. Mm -hmm. So the father disowned the son. So I'm just explaining to you, Mr. Buyer, and future seller. Mm -hmm. And also, another buyer from Sierra Leone, he went to New York. He brought $1 million worth of diamond. He was being booked in Queenstown, very cheap hotel. Mr. Cole Camera, he went to United States. And the first time to step in to United States, after he checked in, someone knock knock at his door, the gun on his head. So he took the, 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 the goons, he took the diamond. He returned to Sierra Leone empty handed. Another seller from Sierra Leone brought the 25 kilos in Dubai. He was being distracted by Indian, the Indian buyer who went to Sierra Leone, promised that uh, he will sign the contract. So the seller is hungry, they travel together, pay taxes, and he was being distracted in the airport, and he was being booked in the hotel. He was given a soft drink by Indian, and then there was a drug on soft drinks. He fell asleep. When he wake up, the 25 kilos disappear in his room, and then he reported to the police. The police said, oh, this Indian is not registered. There are so many smugglers, Indian smuggler, based in Dubai. Then another seller, Mr. CDB, four years ago, 45 kilos, another Indian. He was being entertained by a good dinner. He was being poisoned. The drink, he put the drinks, he put the poison into the drinks. When he sipped the drinks, he died instantly. And the, the, the Indian disappear. And then the police saw the, uh, the passport. He is from Conakry. And they contacted the embassy. The father lost, the mother lost the husband. The children lost the father. 
During the time, Mr. CDB was only 50. He was hungry to come to Dubai. That is the reason why my seller loves me. Yeah? Because I told my seller, I don't believe in buyer. Buyers are liars. Seller also can be liar. Both buyers and sellers are liar. That is what the reason why my previous conversation with you, Mr. Buyer, there are two things in life, good and bad. Buyer can be good, buyer can be bad. Seller can be good and seller can be bad. So vice versa. There are two kinds. Wilhelmina can be good as well. Wilhelmina can be bad. I'm always in the middle. You know what I mean? Yeah? Because when I'm on the ground, believe me, my language is not very good. I'm a woman of very brutal language. Yeah? I'm Australian, but I was born in the Philippines. My language is brutal when I don't like my seller is crooked. I'm very brutal. And if the seller and the buyer is crooked, I will expose you. Live video on my virtual live conference. I'm going to expose you. Yeah? This is real. You expose me that I'm scam. I don't know how much I scam you. But when you muck around with me, I have the file. Just like this lady. Yeah? Mm. And also Sanwan, Salwan Kanwa. He is on my page. So don't muck around, Mr. Buyer. Because I'm going to expose you. Let's be fair. Fair is fair. I'm with you. Okay? You owe me a favor. I am giving you a very good deal. Okay? In return, you need to be straightforward. That is the reason why I always tell the buyer, do not travel without Walamina. Do not. My transaction has been successful. I've been to Conakry and Sierra Leone. Yeah? February. And I arrived in Australia back home, March 2. Lucky I was not being locked down. <clears throat> And I quarantined myself for a month. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I tested negative on coronavirus. But I'm very careful with my health because health is wealth. When I die, that the gold, I will leave it on the ground. This is what I have said to my seller uh, in Ghana when I was in Ghana. Ghana is notorious as well. I was being screwed down there. I was talking to the seller, the owner of Orum. He's a very sickly guy, and uh, his company, Orum, run by greed family. I said to Nana, you have a shark in your business, so many sharks. So what do you mean? One day, you're going to die early <laughs> because you, you have a shark in your surrounding. The shark will bite you. Yeah, it was right. So he died because of David. He went to Russia. David was missing. Mm-hmm. David screwed me because of Eric Blasco. Yeah. Eric Blasco from Mexico. So I'm exposing you guys so that you will be aware. That is why I warn everyone do not muck around with this lady. Do not. Because you don't know what is inside of my brain. I'm going to expose you. Mm -hmm. I am. Because I have all the copy. So that is why follow the golden rules. Because I'm also going to expose my, the seller. If the seller will muck around with you guys. That is why I encourage you to start a trial. We have tons of gold. You build your business relationship. Because you don't know us and we don't know you. I want you to feel. Because once you build your trust, you you can order. You, you never know. We might give you 50-50. Second shipment, third shipment. You never know. You need me. As your tools, you need me as a passport to enter into the gate. The gate is locked. My seller is very hard to deal with. He is not very kind when it comes to pricing. He's not. He will say, 5% 5 5 take it or leave it. There was an Indian, Ghanaian. He went to Konakra Guinea with my personal driver. Because my personal driver went to Ghana. His brother met an accident. He died and he attended the funeral. Mr. Kwasi came with my personal driver, the company personal driver, to the office. And he was excited. Mm -hmm. Madam, everybody knows you. I said, really? 
How? Oh, they called you mother of gold. They said, yes, they called me. <laughs> and they said, wow, your salary is really real. I said, I know that. And uh, he was given 5%. And Kwasi said, Madam, why on your video you said 8% and I'm in the office. Why did you sell it to, to me 5%? I said, yeah, it is 5%. I said to Mr. Kwasi, go back and review the video. I said, our selling price is 5% less on the world market. But because I'm going to travel, I threw back the 3% in total of 8%. He didn't get the gold. Because he's not a buyer, he's a broker to the company. The company sent him to Conakry to make sure that the seller is real. The seller is real. But he failed because my seller says, show me the proof of fun. We have the gold. Yeah? So he returned to Ghana empty-handed. Yeah. So buyers are tricky. Don't be tricked, Mr. Buyer. Do not. I am giving you everything. Put that on writing. You place your order. Then your order is subject for your arrival. Now, but because we are on coronavirus, I will challenge you, Mr. Buyer. In your end, international flight, I don't know if you can fly. Okay? To me, I wouldn't be able to fly until December. Uh -huh. So I will give you a challenge. I already spoken to the son that um, the buyer would not travel because of the coronavirus. 10 kilos. You pay the 5 kilos, bank to bank, and you pay the balance 5 kilos when the gold arrive in your destination. However, there is a condition. On the contract, you need to make sure that you guarantee that you will not default the payment. Mm -hmm. This is the instructions of my seller. We will send the 10 kilos, pay the 5 kilos. Okay? The, five, the balance of 5 kilos, you pay that when the gold arrive in your possession. We will ship it to your destination. But you have to send the money bank to bank in order to pay the 5 kilos, in order to pay the tax. Yeah? In order to, rem to remit the money to the government called cash inflow. So which one you like, Mr. Buyer? You travel or you just send the gold to your destination? So you don't need to pay my extra service. Because I'm not going to travel at the moment. I would be traveling by December until the international flight would be open in Australia. So you have choices. Review this video because this video is long conversation. This is my store. This is my online office. I am the extension. This is my home base office. The office is in Conakry. Head office. The head office is in Mali. The head office is in Sierra Leone. I only receive your order based on my virtual page on YouTube based on my virtual page on Facebook. I want you to read. Digest it properly because my my FCO is very, very extensive. I put everything in order for you to learn, in order for you to understand this is not for you if you don't read properly. This is not. You are buying half a million, Mr. Buyer. I know you've been losing money before. Yeah. So, I don't want you to repeat. The same as me, I was being screwed before. So I move on because I do believe I will recover and I will advise and I will remove all the tricks because buyers are very tricky. Yeah? And also the seller is tricky as well. Yeah, both. Mm -hmm. You know the mentality of African Mr. Buyer? When you call, they don't pick up the phone. Mm-hmm. And when they have an appointment, 9 o'clock, they show up 12 o'clock. Yeah? But if I am on the ground, I keep on calling and calling and calling and calling. When I was in Africa, I called my driver. Where are you? I'm in the corner. Which corner? Uh -huh. oh, Madam, I'll be there five minutes. Okay, five minutes. I time it. I said, it's five minutes, but you're still not. Where are you? Madam, I'm, I'm in the runabout. Which runabout? I am very, very, very annoying person because I want to educate as well the seller. We are very 
what you call this is slow they have a pattern of they don't they don't uh, press that they don't treasure you they just take them for granted yeah when i was in ghana 29 o'clock they show up one o'clock hmm. in conakry and sierra leone they're on time because i instructed the seller you want to see the buyer i want you to pick me up 9 30 sierra leone owner seller 9 30 exact conakry exact yeah mali exact but ghana ah you will be frustrated you will there are so many alibi oh it's traffic oh i met an accident that bullshit to me yeah that is why i'm very very strict but because of the coronavirus i will monitor the movement mm -hmm. you can travel you don't need to pay my extra service but uh the discount a little bit will will discuss it when you come on conference this morning i have one two three four five six seven eight people only one person is qualified yeah I'm waiting for the person to send me her letter of intent to purchase coming from her. Mm -hmm. She said that she will send it to me. Address uh, Mineral Consulting, attention to Alamina. So next buyer, I will put the buyer to, share to Mali. Mali is the third largest gold producer in West Africa. Believe me, Mr. Buyer, you're going to be happy. I'm telling you. But be honest and take time to read all the corporate offer on my page don't ask me oh well amina send me the full corporate offer i would not respond to you because you are not trading yeah you are not trading you're not paying attention you went to school isn't it mm -hmm. i went to school yeah you read it there is no such broker will give you this kind of information none whatsoever yeah this broker is just floating around collecting information. That is called solicitation. I don't solicit. I don't chase the buyer. The buyer is chasing us because we have the supply. There's a saying, supply and demand determine the price. Thank you very much, Mr. Buyer. I hope you take time to read, listen to this video thoroughly. Don't come to Wilhelmina if you are not really comprehending. Thank you very much. Have a nice good evening the time here is 9 55 and good morning to you in your end